All right, I'm back. Welcome back, Luck. Okay, well, let's try this again. I wonder if there's anything else we can try to do. He's starting to get frustrated because he can't reach the stars that hang over his thing. Okay. Um. Okay, do I have any equipment with endurance on it then? That'll give me help. No. Okay. So we'll try this way again. Behind the pipe, the maintenance door, an ordinary as your eyes are, and and nothing. Actually, I wonder what happens if I talk to Cindy the skull. I am wondering if he's eating. Something's got him like freaking out at times and then calming down and then freaks out and then calms down. There's a skull painter on the wall now. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? I don't believe it. I've never known those boys to have manners.
They seem to hold you in high esteem. They'll never be skulls, but but their hearts are in the right place. Fat chance, but you can still do your part to revitalize the neighborhood. Okay, how's that? She throws you a conspiratorial glance, then presses her finger to her lips and squints up at the sky, as though straining to hear something in the distance. Have you noticed the quiet? Every so often, you might hear a gunshot pierce the air somewhere in Janra. But in Martinez, no gunshots, no sirens. <laughs> the people are languishing in boredom and complacency. Okay. This place is a sepulchre. We'll paint it red. We bring the raucous. You bring the sirens. Okay. Well, that's not helpful. Okay, well, I want to go try talking to Wizard Face again. Oh, she's gone. It's okay. Okay, so well, let's go back to the village first. Your stars up, and we can just leave in the other part. I think you're getting a bit deep for the seat. Okay, so she is out here then. I mean, we might as well talk to her while she's here. I'll just keep the cordelechi in the channel, if that's okay. It's too shallow near the pier. I ma'am. And it's a jetty, by the way. Of course. Jetty. I prefer a good jetty to a pier any day. Jet, jet, jetty. Hello, detectives. It's good to see you here. I only just arrived myself. What brings you here, madame? Nothing, really. I've had my eye on this jetty for weeks now. So I decided to investigate it personally. This cluster of buildings isn't on any of the official maps, as far as I can tell. Okay. That. And she's also keeping an eye on you. So how do you like it here? Hmm. How do I like it? Water drips down eaves of Eternite. The jetty below her feet creaks to the tune. The smell of salt and dog shit in the background. It's pornographically poor. The street has no name. All the men are dead or missing. And is that the carcass of a motor carriage over there? Uh... I'm surprised that woman hasn't put me to the sword yet. Maybe she will. You should ask your questions while you can. Dark eyes survey the coast leading up to Martinez. Dull grey metal rests in her scabbard. A sword. The wind is too loud for her to hear. Fortunately for you, madame, the RCM is on the scene. 
All right. Politics time. Let's react. Real men. Real politics. Real thoughts in your head. They nothing. She could easily just... Have I told you how they discovered this place? Miss Isla? Yes. In Cielinde. No. Well, your condition has left you no worse off than most of these people. The literacy rate is around 45% west of the river. 50 years of occupation have left these people in an oblivion of poverty. Nothing. It's a pity. Most of these people will never know what this place means. This island of matter. Or why they were ferried over in the first place. <laughs> Remind me to tell you one day. For now, how can I assist you in this new location? Tell me now we have time. Do we? I hear you have singled out a suspect and are in pursuit. This is cause for cautious optimism. I would not want to delay you. Maybe there is something else I can assist you with, while you're hot in pursuit? Um... Hmm. She's not even asking you anything. It's so easy to just say. Whole thing's a takeover. It's what you're about to say when a cold streak runs through your heart. Once said, there is no going back. Oh. Yes. What if something happens to her and you've left one question unasked? Of course, detective. You can always draw more lessons in basic reality. My favorite part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Um, anything else? Yeah, let's oh. just do it. A takeover. It's not a strike, you're being let in. You aren't being let in because there's nothing to negotiate. If they're taking it... Green livery, changing into red, blot by blot. Take luck! I don't have too many commands with my bot right now. Not, like, user ones. Anyways, they're mostly admin commands. I don't use any of the standard bots. It's actually a custom bot that um, Mox has made for me. It does some cool stuff, but we haven't gotten like basic commands and stuff into it yet. Like a cancer of the blood, metastasizing. Then we're talking about a war. Everard needs to let me into the harbor at once. We need to talk about this. He's ready for a war, they all are. They most certainly are not. Cronell has a thousand men on their payroll. The next batch will be a platoon of 20 men and a gunship. I've seen the Union's forces. They are better organized than these mercenaries. They also had the support of the people of Relation West. It will take more than Cronel to wipe them out. Wild Pines will need to send more and better equipped men. Make no mistake, man. I am sure you have the money. The question is, how many years and how many lives are you willing to sacrifice? What do you suggest I do? Does it matter? 
Or has her mind been made up for quite a while now? Um... Will this affect your decision-making process? Everything affects the decision-making process, Detective. Have you, sir? It's not the RCM's job to make these decisions. Of course. Your job is to clean up after them. And it looks like there will be a lot of cleaning to be done in the near future. So, what are you gonna what do? What will I do? Her arms fall to her sides. Her spine relaxes. It's okay! Come here! Did I ever tell you how they discovered this Isola during our reality lowdown? No, oh, you said you would one day. It may be the only break we've ever caught as a species. The last one for 400 years. Why? The nations who colonized this Isola called theirs Muindi, the world. It was all they knew, all they thought would be. That there would be something more was a gamble. Akin to another world, or life after death. The okay. pale was thought to be impregnable, perpetual. Irene la Navigateur, the Queen of Siren, sent eight expeditions, one after the other, into the mass at the edge of the world. Five of the crews did not return. Two did, but had lost their minds. Each of those expeditions would have been led by an admiral. Sounds like a purge. Like she was purging her political rivals. Sounds cruel. There was no precedent for such an undertaking. People thought she was punishing the admirals, or had gone mad, or both. Until after years of trial and error, and the development of a strict psychological regime imitating the creation process of poetry. Called Volta Doma, or Return from the Sea. Okay. The eighth expedition returned sane and intact. They told of a new continent of matter. They told the Queen and her counselor, Dolores Day, that the pale had begun to condense day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute, slowly raining down until it formed a vast ocean. The air is cold and scented with petrichor. The phenomenon has never again been encountered. For a time, the crew thought they were experiencing a hallucination. The mass hand proclaimed, Lancelind, Lancelind, the signal to wake up. But they could not. They were sane and conscious, as islands began to appear on the horizon. There are 78,000 uninhabited islands in the Insulindian archipelago, officer. The freckled face of God. You've thought it a million times. Okay. After life, death. After death, life again. After the world, the pale. After the pale, the world again. A total shift. In human comprehension of reality. On the second day, a great skewer was shot down above the flagship Lizargique. The bird was preserved and brought back, along with pollen. Four years later, the Queen's counselor was proclaimed her innocence, Dolores Day, the elected world spirit. The age of humanism, internationalism, and parliamentary rule followed. We were high. The Great Squall was the first bird they saw. The first living autonomous organism, proof of reality. It's the symbol of Insulinde, Detective. The coat of arms of the suzerain and the wings on the crest of the commune. Seem to have it in for it, uh, for it for me. I broke one. In your defense, it is a nasty creature who plucks food from the throats of lesser birds. Yet much like Revachol, 
It is also magnificent and rare. Imagine the suzerain of seagulls. And this was the last break we got. The nations of Mundi proceeded to discover five more Isilei, or they discovered us, all in the rush of the great inter-Islery reconnection. But these others weren't uninhabited. We had to kill people there, wipe out indigenous populations, gunboat economies, or they came to do the same for us, or had done to each other. But here, there was no one but the skewer, the Liliat Sayer, and the Blood Beach, and the River Esperance. It was the new, new world. The Mondials used it to amass the greatest concentration of wealth mankind has ever seen. Revachol, the suzerain. What happened? Revolution, poverty, and the mercurial rise of capitalism. Still kind of up and down. I will surrender Terminal B to the Union. Is that what the means? She puts her hand in the rain. We will see. Ma'am, this may well unravel property law this side of the river. If that occurs, we may never see the end of this kind of confrontation. The next time there will be two strikes, then four, then a hundred. What happens will happen. You're okay. You were okay here. Uh The age of capital has only begun. I will talk to my employers in person. We will amputate and cauterize Martinez. If you handle the situation on the ground. We should generally avoid that term with her employers. You know what this lady needs. Some political what failed advice. out. Even though she's a high powered corporate executive and you're an amnesiac degenerate. You're pretty sure she needs to hear your opinion on this. What further plans do you have for the age of capital? In short, Harry, we will revoke the pigment standard. Your money will no longer need to be black like chitin, and there will be so much more of it. I know. Keep the peace, and I will keep my end of the bargain. How far along is Prunel's investigation? The confrontation is imminent. They have followed in your footsteps. It's okay. It's okay. As your investigation reaches a climax, so does theirs. They are your shadow. Arm yourselves. Armor yourselves. Protect their targets. Violence may be unavoidable, but we can limit the casualties. When will they make their move? Soon. I do not know precisely. They have cut off all communication, you see. They know I've been feeding you information. One last thing, Lieutenant Dubois. I've given the matter much thought and come to this conclusion. You're not an amnesiac. You're insane. Yeah, I'm trying to keep him close because he keeps pulling up his phone. Um, like, he had, like, a lot of saliva, too, so... I'll be kind of shocked if it isn't... If not teething, something. He's got his appointment next week, though, so we'll be able to check on him then. There's no, like, fever or anything. He's just 
He's been a lot more fussy than he usually has been and showing some indications of like pain. So. I know because I too am insane. I just hide my illness better. And I'm rich. Isn't everybody a little insane? No, detective. No one's as insane as you. Okay, then. Don't worry, madame. I am very sane. How do you keep it together? The same strict psychological regimen the 8th Admiral developed when he crossed the Pale and discovered this Isola. The Volta do Mar. It's used by inter-Islary travelers and other troubled souls, even to this day. You could use a little of it yourself. I'm overexposed, baby. My travels take me through the pale dozens of times a year. I've got the longing. And I've got it bad. Okay. Another woman gone. Bye. Watch out for yourselves. They will strike soon. The lieutenant watches her boat grow smaller on the bay. Its white sails fluttering. We wonder what Everard has to say about this. Slowly, the sails turn grey-blue as more I mean, oxygen gets between you. If I go talk to Everard, I'll probably get more experience and then we can level up more. Do this. I wonder if this one will actually be better. Let's do this one instead. And then I want to learn endurance because we need the health. Let's do it. I guess we'll go talk to Everard then and see what he has to say. Because maybe we'll get a ton more experience. I'm not going to give Everard shit though. steady as ever and the unlocked whatever's hidden here is hidden there we well. go concentration isn't enough only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really look at sense. the note it appears to be a to-do list written in large uneven capital letters remember leo everard's shoes special whirling borscht water everard's plants sweet office floor more banners all items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. A uh, to-do note with a list of errands for Everard. One of his aides must have left it. Nothing incriminating here. The special borscht seems a bit odd in the list. Remember, Leo, Everard's shoes. Special whirling borscht. Water. All items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. The drawer slides shut. Whirling borscht. I wonder if that's at the whirling rag. Maybe we can go talk to, um... What's his face? No. 
ask him about it? Something you needed. Another thing. Great. No. I love those. Yes. I was hoping that I could talk to him about the whirling borscht. I wonder if we're getting close to the end. I kind of have a feeling we might be, but... This is also one of those games where I feel like... Just because you feel that way doesn't really mean much. I need to be back to talk with old Leo. Sure, mister. Absolutely. I'm always willing to help out nice you fellows Leo such who as wrote yourself. The make more banners? Oh, yes, yes. I leave all kinds of notes for myself. That old head of mine ain't so good at keeping things in no more. I almost forgot about the borscht. What was that about the borscht? Oh, yes. I've been taking special whirling borscht to the men every day since the strike started. <laughs> it's very, very good. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. I feel like I could take on Mr. Renadan's boar dogs every time the lunch is done. Is it for striking? Yes, yes. I'm taking it to them. The boars keeps them happy and in fighting spirits. Makes you all warm inside. They brew it in the whirling in rags. Who makes it the whirling? Oh, the whirling's cook. He makes it. Them is always talking with Mr. Manana in that weird language and laughing together. He doesn't speak what we speak. He's from Grad. Something's off about the borscht. I'm gonna look into it. Oh, sure, mister. Sure. You do that. Yes, sir. He didn't actually understand what you meant. And now he's just nodding along. Okay. Okay, let's go here. So, the ship has sailed. Did you see it? I know you did. Tell me, what did it look like as it grew smaller and smaller when that mainsail dropped behind the horizon? There's a mean little light in its eyes. Did it look like a germ? Did it look like a piece of bacteria? Oh my god, you've been played. Don't understand what do you mean. Don't worry, Harry. He does. At least I think he does. You wanted us to relay all this information to her. That this is a takeover? That I want a war? God, I hope you also told her about the drug trade. They absolutely hate getting their hands dirty with that. You can kill a million people, but if you do something the police doesn't like, well, then you're out of the yacht club. Goodbye, you inhuman fuck. Oh boy. Uh, you used me. Harry, you made a conscious decision to relay that information to her. You could have kept it for yourself.
But what's going to happen what now? What was always going to happen? We take the harbour and she fucks off to Ozon, uncorks a bottle of wine, calls her partners, and says they need to distance themselves from this nasty business before the big shit spinner splashes everyone. Only difference is the Union doesn't have to lose 2,000 men to machine gun fire. Oh boy. I have a bad taste in my mouth. You better make sure this ends up saving lives. That it will, Harry. That it will. As to the bad taste, please. You're not a sommelier. You're a cop. You knew something. Something big. And you wanted to see what happens when you tell someone. So you told her. Anyone who's ever been close to power will tell you. Inside information is the sweetest thing in the world. It's better than money. It's better than pussy. Money only makes you special for some salesman. Pussy only makes you special for yourself. Information makes you special for all mankind. It's the ticket to history. Uh, no. Don't beat yourself up, Harry. What you did was participate in history. When history calls, you have to pick up. You had no choice. None of us ever do. A hard disco cop That's like you... I knew you weren't one to resist temptation. You know what, detective? I am going to leave this out of my report. And I suggest I mean, at least we screwed him over and didn't actually get the signatures. <laughs> Just look at the three of us. The three careless boyaderos. Good times. Good times. Okay, so what now? Now, there's a whole lot of work to do. For me and for you. I suppose there was a reason you came here. So let's get to it. What can I help my best friend and comrade with today? Um... Let's ask about this guy. Mega rich light bending guy? Oh my god! How did that get in there? He must have been in the container when someone accidentally closed the door. Damn it to hell, Harry. I specifically told my guys to check all the containers for mega-rich light-bending guys. Yeah, tell me. There was a guy in the container, but he didn't bend any light. That was in the detective's head. Oh, come on, Kim. Honestly, guys, we might be moving all kinds of suspicious things through this harbor, but I won't be caught transporting the light bending mega rich. I have a reputation to protect. Uh... Hi, it's a nice man. No, they're not. They're vermin, and one just found a way inside my container. Soon, he'll bring the others. All three of them. Thank you for telling me. I'll see to this immediately. Wait, all three of them? <laughs> I shudder to think what you're going to tell me next, Harry. Not for one second did he believe there's an actual mega-rich person somewhere in his container town. Okay, that's it. Wow, you work hard. I do. Oh, yes. You hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. I guess I do. Oh, yeah. Like a horse. A workhorse. For hard work. What hard work do I do? Look at yourself. You're a human pedometer. You must have walked 200,000 steps down cracked asphalt, mosaic, sand, and linoleum after you re-emerged. That is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way. And you won't let it break you. You ride. And ride till I die, bitch. That's just what it's like. Life and death. But you've got gills on your side, baby. 
Got those black papers with the faces of the innocents on them. You bring in the Franco Negros and the Solas. It ain't oh, easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules, but you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. I guess I've made stun gills. Sure, sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? But you still hustle 24 7, ride or die. Now, ask yourself are you rich? No. That's right. You work harder than anyone. You almost rode yourself to the grave, and you're still practically a hobo. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> because of the taxes. G-Man's got his jam-covered sticky fingers in your pocket. Okay, then. Stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, Talk, fart, so much as sneeze. Our tax is almost non existent. Baby's finally asleep again. That is forever sure. Well, there were no taxes. You and I both, but they got those indirect modes of taxation sales tax, excise duty, extraction tax. This tax that doesn't even have a name. Plus, there's the stuff people in other countries pay for that makes them ask for more money from you here the Gossamer states a myth in total the coalition government is taking 98% of all your money are you sure that seems like a pretty big number what are you not sure about they're milking your nipples till they bleed can't you see aren't you sick and tired of having bloody nipples how will deregulation help with that? It's all about the tax issue, Hustler. No other problem in the world is as pressing as top marginal tax rates. And don't you fucking forget it. Okay, then. How long does this have? Seven hours. Nothing in there. Now we have to go back to Whirling and try to find something out about Borscht. his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod acknowledging your presence we have said your friends with manana the mention of manana gets his attention he smiles and delivers a whole slew of unfamiliar words and lively gestures 
What's in the then, Borsh you're making? The man says a couple of sentences in that strange language of his, and then seems to wait for you to speak. I'm pretty sure he asked you a question. He doesn't know your language. You can just say something cool in return. Yes, not. Hmm. Bors need more vodka. Okay, so it's vodka that keeps the men happy and in good spirits. Clever move by the Union. Of course, vodka. Now that makes a very, very special borscht indeed. Turn it up and then answer some yourself. Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea, honestly. The place is a powder keg. Uh, no, cut it. Let's do it. The cook gives you a long, disappointed look then turns the stove off and seems to wait for you to speak. Okay. Don't think I need anything else. And then we're almost leveled up again. Okay. Now let's save. And we got the vodka. We've got that done. Okay, I guess let's try this again. There's another crash car. Behind the pipe, the maintenance door rusted. You and the lieutenant Lee. Let's take a breather and try this again later. Yeah. We did this already. The distance is in addition. The first rung is gone. Not to mention, what if you were to do so? What if you were to reconceptualize? Teleportation is not a thing. Oh, yes. He is restraining himself from using a parental tone. All yes. you need to do <laughs> is close your eyes and concentrate. Okay, Darkness enfolds you. Uh... You can feel the distance between the bench and the first rung of the ladder. Zoot, zap. Okay, well. Bam. You find yourself on the roof, having. You know, for the record, you didn't teleport there. You just climbed the ladder with your eyes closed. The wind at the top. Never mind. Okay. Um, I guess I should probably put the flash the light on. And then this way. Two rusty metal plates that slide apart form a crude door. 
It's been here under the boardwalk for a while. All right, guys. Um, it's about time to cut the pod. I'm gonna do it because I actually just see that I had a missed message as well, like a missed call, which I don't know why I get them. Um, but my phone doesn't always ring, so hold tight. I will be right back. <laughs> 